All right, so this is a video I've been wanting to do for a while. I've actually held off on doing it. Um, you guys have seen for for quite a while now, I've been doing videos with the 6.5 Grendel. Um, I actually haven't done any here recently, but I actually plan to change that. I've actually worked up a good load for this particular rifle for hunting season. Uh, if you guys have seen any of my videos in the past this thing, it absolutely shoots lights out. Um, so one of my favorite AR cartridges is the 6.5 Grendel. But this video brings up somewhat of a sore spot because I'm actually supposed to have a 6 arc barrel, a 6 arc upper put together as we speak but i ordered a six arc barrel probably three weeks after the arc came out um, and the barrel still hasn't shown up even though the barrel was supposed to be in production but it's a whole other story i don't want to call the company out who's having all sorts of issues um, but i'm excited for it to finally come in so when it does i'll expect to see quite a few arc videos be pumped out fairly quickly um, it's supposed to not be a whole lot of time between now and then so hopefully it comes in quickly and we can start pumping out some six arc videos but i have shot plenty of the six I've shot it quite a bit since it came out. Um, I actually really like the cartridge. I know a couple people who have them. I'm able to get good information off of them as well as what I already know about the cartridge. So we're going to do the full comparison of the 6mm Arc and the 6mm Grendel. So both of these have basically the same parent case. So what some, some of you may not know is the 6 Arc really is just a 6.5 a 6 Grendel neck down to 6mm. Now there's a couple other things that, that have to happen to turn it into a 6.5 Grendel or to a 6 millimeter arc from a 6.5 Grendel but both of them started out or the 6.5 Grendel actually started out as a 220 Russian and the 220 Russian as many people don't even know this um, the 220 Russian actually started out as a 7.62 by 39 or the same round you guys see shot in the AK platform uh, for the most part so they both have very similar case capacity um, because they're based off the same cartridge um, because they have both basically the same dimensions uh, the 6.5 Grendel if you now when we do case capacity we're talking about water case capacity so if you were to fill the 6.5 Grendel case up completely with water and weigh that water you're looking at 35 grains of water um, the 6 millimeter arc on the other hand um, same thing fill it up with water weigh the water you're looking at 34 grains so one grain less of case capacity in the 6 millimeter arc and that makes sense because the neck is smaller to accommodate the smaller six millimeter bullet. Um, the shoulder angle, both of these have an identical shoulder angle. Both of them have a 30 degree shoulder angle. So like I said, very, very similar in dimensions between the six arc and the six, and the six Grendel. Um, velocities, velocities, this is a place where these things differ drastically. So the 6.5 Grendel, um, because it is such a small cartridge trying to push a heavier 6.5 bullet, um, it does not really create a whole bunch of velocities. Now I ran up a generic load for this video. Um, this is not a load that I use. This 6.5 Grendel, act, the load that I'm, the load that we're going to be actually looking at here for this video, um, or the powder that we're using, is not the powder that is typically recommended. But I, because uh, the 6.5 Arc is fairly new, there's not a whole lot of load data out there on it, I had to actually use two different sources um, to two different published sources to collect data for this particular video. So we're going with the Varget powder, which is not, like I said, the recommended powder. I'm actually able to get much faster velocities out of this 20 inch 6.5 Grendel than what they're talking about in this 24 inch uh, 6.5 Grendel uh, bolt gun. But that's neither here nor there. This is just for comparison. So in the 6.5 Grendel, in a 24 inch bolt gun. Now we're using bolt guns. Obviously most of these are gonna be done in a gas gun. Most of your 6.5 Grendels, your 6.5 or 6 millimeter arcs are gonna be gas guns, but we are using a bolt gun for comparison because it was the numbers that I could find uh, with similar with the same powders that matched up evenly. So in a 24 inch bolt gun, a 6 millimeter arc and a 6.5 Grendel 24 inch bolt gun um, running Varget powder, a 6.5 Grendel, at 28 grains, which is the max charge weight, uh, max pressure charge weight in a bolt gun. Now that is not a max pressure charge weight that you are going to be able to use in a gas gun. That is a totally different thing. So you need to be, do, if you plan to use this in a gas gun, uh, you definitely need to do your homework because that is going to be over pressure for a gas gun. So for a bolt gun, 6.5 griddle, 28 grains on a 123 grain ELDX bullet or ELDM bullet. Um, at a max pressure charge weight with Varget, you're looking at 2,420 feet per second from that 24 inch barrel. Now, I think that's probably a little slow. I think it's probably conservative data, but this is the comparative data that we've got. Um, and that was found on the Sierra's, uh, that is found on the Sierra load manual. 
uh, from the Hornady load manual, which is so far all I could find, the only published 6 millimeter arc data that I could find um, is from the, the Hornady load manual, um, and that is at max pressure with a 105 grain Hornady boat tailed hollow point match bullet um, running 28.5 grains of Varget, so that makes a lot of sense. Uh, smaller bullet takes up less case capacity so therefore you're able to put that half a grain extra in there and we're running these both in a bolt gun so you're going to be able to use max charges um, at max pressure with that 105 grain boat to hollow point max or match at max pressure you're looking at 2750 feet per second so a 330 feet per second velocity increase by going up to the six millimeter arc now like I said this, these are both gas gun, these are not gas gun loads. Um, you're going to be significantly less than that in a gas gun. And these are, this is not the recommended powder for max velocity um, in either the 6.5 Grendel or the 6 Arc. But it is the only comparative load that I could put together. So just take all this with a grain of salt. But this, just know that this is a comparison uh, for velocities. So now trajectory, if we were to take those same loads, so I ran up a generic load using both these loads that we just came up with, same velocity, same bullet, same everything. So 6.5 Grendel in the, with the 123 grain ELD um, at 500 yards running 2420 feet per second, you're looking at 14 minutes of angle at 500 yards and 762 foot pounds of energy at 500. At 1,000 yards, you're looking at 45.75 minutes of angle uh, at 313 foot-pounds of energy. So as you can see, because the slow velocity, of the slow, much slower velocity of the 6.5 Grendel, uh, that thing is dropping off fairly quickly and it's really starting to nosedive once you get out to those further distances. The 6 millimeter arc, on the other hand, um, with a with the 105 grain boat tailed hollow point match running at 2750 feet per second, which is the load data that we found with that Varget charge, um, you're looking at at 500 yards, you're looking at 10.5 MOA. So that is a three and a half minute flatter trajectory out to 500 yards with the six millimeter arc. And these are both comparative bullets. I, I tried to pick bullets that are fairly comparative as well. So we're not running the heaviest six millimeter bullets that we can. We're not running the heaviest uh, six five bullets that we can, but we're running them on the heavy side. So at 500 yards, 10.5 minutes of angle, and 848 foot-pounds of energy. So that extra velocity that you have is actually out be beating out the Grendel in the energy department and the trajectory department. Um, then out to 1,000 yards with this same 105 grain boat tailed hollow point match bullet um, at with at 2,750 feet per second at the muzzle, you're looking at 34 and three quarters, or 34.75 minutes of angle at 1,000 yards and 346 foot-pounds of energy. So all the way out, beating the six Grendel in trajectory and beating the six Grendel, or the six five Grendel in trajectory and energy all the way out uh, along its entire curve. So that is one thing to note that the six millimeter arc does have flatter, much flatter trajectories. And as long as you're able to keep those velocities up, now there is going to be a point because of the weight of the six five Grendel. Um, if you take that out, take these numbers out far enough, but it's going to be rare that you're going to ever shoot a six five Grendel out past a thousand yards. Um, but if you take these out far, far enough, you're going to come to a point where because of the weight and the BC of the 6.5 Grendel bullet, um, you're going to actually start outpacing the 6 arc bullet in, in uh, energy. But that happens out further than a thousand yards, which is definitely some, a place that with either of these cartridges you're probably not going to be trying to shoot at game. Um, the barrel life, both of these have very good barrel life. Um, typically these smaller, smaller cartridges, AR platform cartridges, tend to get very good barrel life. So the 6.5 Grendel, something that I was able to find really good data on, uh, the 6.5 Grendel, you're looking at about 5,000 rounds of match accuracy. Now, obviously, you can take it further than that, but we're talking about match grade accuracy, the best, at the, the highest spec of accuracy that you can possibly get out of your barrel. It's going to last about 5,000 rounds, which is a, a pretty solid round count uh, for match grade accuracy. Uh, with the 6mm arc, now because the 6mm arc is fairly new, there's not a whole lot of data out there um, on barrel life. I, the 
two people that I know that have six arcs already. Um, neither of them have are even close to burning out their barrel. Um, so we had to go with some of the data we could find online, as well as comparative cartridges like the six PPC um, and other cartridges in the same in the same velocity range, same size, same grain weight as the six arc. So. Um, from the best estimates and what I could find online, you're looking at between 3,000 and 3,500 round, which is still a significant round count, and right up there with like 6.5 Creedmoor uh, levels of barrel life from the 6mm arc. So you're definitely losing out on barrel life to go to those faster velocities of the 6 arc, but you are gaining in the trajectory and the energy. Um, when it comes to recoil, so recoil on these six arc, um, like I said, I've shot a couple of a couple of six arcs. I've I've shot quite a bit of it actually, and I've been kind of been really killing me not to have my barrel in so that I could get my load started to work up. But either way, uh, the recoil of the six arc is a slight bit less than the six five Grendel. You're pushing out a heavier bullet with the six five Grendel, so because of that, uh, basically even charge weights, heavier bullet. E Every force has an equal opposite reaction, so you are getting a slight, have, slight bit more recoil from the 6.5 Grendel uh, than you do the 6 Arc. But neither of them are recoils that would not be completely able to be tamed by pretty much any shooter. Um, the 6.5 Grendel and the 6 Arc would be great cartridges for a young shooter wanting to get into precision rifles. Um, so recoil is something on these that I don't even consider a factor because even though the 6.5 6 Grendel is a little bit stouter of a recoil, it is not enough of a recoil to affect even the younger shooters. So factory ammo availability. So obviously the 6.5 Grendel has been out for quite some time. So because the 6.5 Grendel has been out for so long, there has been a, there's been a number of manufacturers um, take on the 6.5 Grendel cartridge and manufacture their own ammo. So there are you can find factory ammo from almost all of the major manufacturers for 6.5 Grendel. You can find Federal, Hornady, Sierra, Nosler, and then boutique then boutique uh, cartridges like Alexander Arms. So there are a number of very good, very uh, high accuracy and good hunting loads available for the 6.5 or 6.5 Grendel. The 6mm Arc, on the other hand, because it is so new, um, because the gun industry right now is in peril with all the things going on in the world, um, they haven't really had a time. The gun industry has been working on obviously the things that they have going on previous to the 6 Arc coming out. So. A whole lot of, not a whole lot of manufacturers so far have taken on the 6 Arc cartridge. Um, so, so far you're just looking at Hornady as the sole manufacturer producing 6 Arc ammo. Um, so because of that, your ammo is not only hard to find, um, but once you've got your 6 Arc ammo, it's, pretty, it's going to be pretty imperative that you're hand loading for it at this current time. Now, obviously, that's going to change in the future. Hopefully, once everything goes back to normal, you'll see lots of other companies adopt the 6 Arc just like they have the 6.5 6 Grendel. And I feel pretty confident that, that will happen at some point. But as of right now, obviously, it hasn't. So the same thing goes for factory rifles. Um, because the 6.5 Grendel has been out so long, it's such a great cartridge. It uses both of these use the same parent case the 220 russian which is based off of the 762 by 39 um, 762 by 39 has been out for so long um, going on heck, 70 years or something like that i may be wrong on that on that exact date but a very long time um, because the six the 762 by 39 is such a widely used cartridge um, and the 65 grendel and six arc fit into those cartridge those mag yeah. boxes and all that the there are a ton of manufacturers already producing uh, 6.5 Grendel rifles. Uh, one of the awesome things about the 6.5 Grendel is you can find lots of bolt action rifles chambered in 6.5 Grendel. Howa has their mini action, CZ also makes mini rifles chambered in 6.5 Grendel. Um, and then there are a ton of gas guns available, ready to go, chambered in 6.5 Grendel. So if you're looking to buy a rifle off the shelf, you can find them in gas guns and bolt actions for 6.5 Grendel. Whereas the 6 Arc, like I said, because it's new, because the, man, because the industry has not had time to sink its teeth really 
into the six arc platform because of all that the it's in the same boat as the ammo availability there are very few manufacturers producing factory rifles um from what i can what i can surmise uh it looks like only santan uh arms or is producing factory ars and they are cost you a pretty penny to buy that factory 6.5 grin or six millimeter arc ar um and there are from what i have seen no bolt guns chambered in six millimeter arc now i can almost guarantee that that will change because it is the mini action cartridge size and how has already got their mini actions cz already has their mini actions and six arc is going to become a very popular cartridge in the future um you can almost guarantee you're going to be seeing the same availability of 6.5 Grendel bolt guns come out in the 6 arc. Um, the uses for both of these cartridges. So both of them I would say have pretty similar uses. Um, the 6.5 Grendel bec has because of its wide use and wide availability has been a a hunting cartridge used for small to medium sized game for quite some time now um, and with the six arc having comparable energy and even better energy in some cases you can almost guarantee that it is going to go along the same vein as being an excellent cartridge for small to medium sized game as well as some a younger child or somebody you want to get into precision rifles but you don't want to have them have want them to have to uh, experience and start off with heavy recoil so this is going to be both of these are going to be awesome cartridges for either for for both those purposes hunting small to medium sized game or small children getting into precision rifle so this has been the full comparison oh one more thing sorry uh, brass availability obviously brass availability goes along with the ammo availability so because 6.5 Grendel has had plenty of brass availability or plenty of ammo availability. All those manufacturers that are manufacturing ammo for the 6.5 Grendel are also manufacturing brass uh, for the 6.5 Grendel as well. You can find brass from a number, number of reputable manufacturers. You've got your Hornady, your Nosler, uh, your Starline. So there are, there's plenty of 6.5 Grendel brass available. Um, but as far as the 6 Art goes, just like everything else, it's pretty much in Hornady's ballpark right now. They are the only ones. As a matter of fact, when I went to buy them, I have already bought quite a bit of 6-arc brass uh, in anticipation of this barrel getting here, which, like I said, has not shown up yet. Um, but because of all that, because I have bought, so I've already bought it, it was very hard to actually find. Um, even when it first came out, uh, it sold out very quickly, and because everything hasn't caught up yet, it's not being produced like a lot of the other things that are in immediate need for most people. So, one of the awesome things though about the six arc is if you're a hand loader and you're wanting six arc brass, but you can't find any anywhere. 6.5 Grendel is such a close comparison to the 6 Arc, you can easily form your 6.5 Grendel brass into 6mm Arc. Um, if you guys watch Eagle Eye Shooting, he has a great video on this. Um, I've actually done it myself. I've formed before I actually found 6 Arc brass for sale. I actually formed some of my old 6.5 Grendel brass into 6mm Arc, and it's as easy as basically running it through a 6mm Arc size, or 6, yeah, 6mm Arc sizing die, um, and then trimming it down to size. So, if you guys are interested in doing that if you can't find your six arc brass um, check out eagle eye shooting he's got like I said a great great video on that topic so I hope this was helpful I hope you guys enjoyed this if you guys are looking at either of these cartridges maybe this gives you an idea of what you might expect with either of them so I'll see you guys next time I'm out